Hey, welcome to this video. We're gonna be doing Lead Code Prom 387, first unique character in a string. So let's say they give us an input string of lead code. The first unique character is L because it only appears once and it's the first one to appear. And it's at index zero in that input string. So return back zero. Whereas for love lead code, the first unique character in that string is the letter V and that is at index two in the input string. So our code will return two. So I'll solve this in my code editor and then paste it onto lead code. And if you like this content, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that little bell so you know when my new videos come out. With that being said, let's get started. So how I'm gonna solve this problem is I'm gonna create a character count object. I'll call it const character count. And let's say our input string is uh, an input string of hello. So our character count object will look like this. H appears once in hello, E appears once, L appears twice, and then O appears once. This is what our character count object will look like after we fill it up, but initially it's an empty JavaScript object as seen here. So let's fill out the character count object. And so I'm gonna loop through the input string to fill it out. So I'll say for let I is equal to zero, i is less than s dot length, right? We're input, we're iterating over the input string, i plus plus, and to make my code easier to read, I'll say const char is equal to s at index i. I'll say character count at key char, right? The number there is going to be equal to the previous number plus one or one, right? So we're filling out this character count object. If that character has been encountered before, this will be truthy, and we're gonna increase that count by one. So we say one, two, and three, and four. But if that key doesn't exist yet, then we're gonna set it to one, because that's the first time we've encountered that letter. All right, so now this for loop fills out this character count object, and then we're gonna loop over the input string a second time. So for let i is equal to zero, actually I'll just copy this, save some time. All right, now here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna have an if check here and say if character count at key char is equal to one, well, we wanna return the index of that character, the first unique character. So I'll say return i, and if we can never find it, return negative one, as the lead code directions state. So what's going on here? So yes, Technically, JavaScript objects are unordered key value pairs. So we, um, these are not necessarily in order, right? Even though we have one, one and one, right? H, E, and O may not be in this order as seen in the comments. So how does our code make sure that we grab this H because H is the first unique character in hello? Well, we're iterating over the input string in order. And so we're checking the keys in order. And so it'll grab H. And that's how our code works. Now let's make sure that our code also passes the lead code test. So I'll paste it in. Submit. And we pass the test. Great. So what is the first unique character in a string complexity analysis? The time complexity is O of n because we loop through the input string twice with our two for loops. And the space complexity is O of 1 because our hash map will at most always have 26 key value pairs. If we look at the lead code directions, they state that the string will only contain lowercase letters. So no matter how large our input string is, it will only be the letters A through Z in lowercase. Our object here, or hash map, will have 26 keys at most, no matter how large the input string is. That's why we have our O of 1 space complexity. All right, that concludes this video.